Hi, this is John Escoto, and this is So Love Today. And our daily Catholic Bible reading takes us to Luke chapter 6, verses 27 to 38. And Jesus, is, Jesus was saying strange things again. He was saying, uh, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, uh, bless those who curse you, and stuff like those. And you could just imagine the people around him saying, ano na naman ito? And strange things, but uh, you've got to notice two things here. Number one, first, is that uh, these guys who are doing you wrong have not asked for forgiveness yet. They haven't said sorry yet, but Jesus is already asking you and me to forgive them and pray for them and love them. And isn't that strange? Second, Jesus was... Jesus is not telling you and me to take abuse. No, not at all. That's not the point of his message. We do not take abuse. We walk away from abuse. But the simple point of today's gospel is that, haven't you noticed you, you cannot be hateful and happy at the same time? You know why, Bucket? Because unforgiveness is a killer. It is a killer. What is unforgiveness? Unforgiveness is holding a knife to stab your enemy, except that you hold the blade instead of the handle. So blade gonna kahawak. So each time you stab your enemy, you give him a dull pain, but it is your hand that's bloodied and wounded. Ikaw ang nasusugatan. Every time the sasak sa kinbusha, the tighter you grasp, the fiercer you stab, the deeper you cut yourself. And that's the wisdom of Jesus' words in the gospel. But maybe you will argue and you'll say, bro, the person who hurt me has not asked for forgiveness yet. Hindi nga humihigi ng tawad. He hasn't repented. He does not deserve to be forgiven. Well, my friend, that's stupidity. Let me explain. If an evil person pushed you into a pool, a swimming pool filled with boiling acid, do you say, I'm not getting out of this pool of burning acid until that person says sorry to me? <laughs> that's nuts. But that's what bitter people do. They wait for the offender to say sorry and repent before they forgive them. My friend, don't wait. Get out of the pool of poison that you're swimming in right now. You forgive not because they deserve to be forgiven. You forgive because you deserve to be free. I'll say that again. You, you forgive not because the other person deserves to be forgiven. You forgive because you deserve to be free. You deserve to be happy. You deserve spiritual freedom. And if I may add, you deserve physical healing that comes from forgiving others. Now I know why Jesus is saying these seemingly strange words. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is John Escoto saying you are so loved today.